Okay, here we go. Time to run an SPSS ANOVA. So I've imported my data. Here are my two columns representing my two experimental manipulations. And now I want to run an ANOVA to look at the effects of those experimental manipulations. All right, so what I do is I go up to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate. Okay. Get rid of all this stuff. Oh, gee. Okay. So, uh, dependent variable. So, what's a dependent variable we wanted to look at? So, uh, in this case, uh, remember we asked them uh, along with your fruit or your pastry you get a free large order of fries how many of those what percentage of those fries would you eat so let's see let's put that into the dependent variable and then our fixed factor is our two manipulations so food type and recycling those go into the fixed factor box uh, now I want to set up my plots so I go over here and click on the plots button and I decide which one I want on the horizontal axis and which one separate lines. In this case, I'm going to go with recycling on the horizontal and food type is my separate lines. Click Add and click Continue. Now, if I have a covariate that I want to throw in there, uh, it would go in this space right here. So um, I do happen to have a measure of happiness in here. So maybe we'll throw that in as a covariate. So controlling for people's overall happiness, what are the effects of food type and recycling? OK. As always, we click Paste to put something into our syntax file. Here is our code. Right click, run current. And here's the output from that code. So here's our univariate analysis of variance. So what it looks like is that if I'm ordering fruit, I always eat about, oh, 77% of my fries. But if I'm ordering pastry and there is no recycling available, then I'm less likely to eat fries than if I'm ordering pastry and recycling is available. So um, looks like we have an interaction where something is happening on the pastry side. So we would go up to our output to see if that's the case. And we look here and we see food type star recycling, which is our interaction term. We'd see the significance is 0.485. So we know that's not a significant interaction, not even close. Of course, we are dealing with cell sizes, in this case, of between 6 and 7. And as you know, for a standard experiment, a medium effect size, we would be looking more along the lines of 30 people for cell in order to demonstrate that effect. And this is arguably a bit subtle, so we might want to go for more than that. So not entirely surprising that we don't have significant results. And so we don't. Okay, was there a main effect of recycling? Nope. Was there a main effect of food type? Not according to this analysis. Okay. With more data, maybe there would. But as always, our mood covariate, happy, turned out to be you know, incredibly significant. Okay. So there's our output. And that's it.